Hello and welcome to my channel all about decoupage. Hi, I'm Veronica and in today's video I'm going to show you how I made a cute Easter egg with bunny motif. If you have any questions after watching this video, just let me know in the comments section below and I'll be more than happy to answer those. For this project I chose styrofoam egg and I painted it twice with white paint, let it dry between each layer. Of course if the styrofoam had any imperfection I first sent off those. I use custom rice paper for this project and I got those motif on Etsy and then I got it printed on rice paper. So I am just cutting out my images from the rice paper with water pen. Of course, you can just use small amount of water and small brush for this too. After that, I am tearing up the rice paper in few places, applying decoupage glue onto the egg itself. And then I am gluing it with more decoupage glue and when I see a wrinkle is forming I am just cutting more deeper inside the rice paper. Of course for this you can use mud pash as well. Just make sure after gluing it there is no excess of the glue because it will dry out white not clear. The same goes for mud pash as well. There is a little bit of excess paper forming, so I'm just taking it off and then gluing down the rest of my bunny design and the same way I did it on the other side as well. After it was dry, it was time to paint my Easter egg, so I am painting even inside the rice paper itself for better blending. I use acrylic paints for this. All materials I use will be listed in the description box below. Just please note I am in Slovakia, Europe, so most of my link will be European based. After everything was painted, I let my Easter egg dry. After it was dry, I applied glitter decoupage glue onto my egg. This step is fully optional and you don't have to do it if you don't have glitter decoupage glue. If you do, just make sure again there is no excess because that will dry out white, not clear. After it is drying, it was time to seal my egg. I am using pouring glaze for this. Of course, you can use varnish as well. I am applying four to five layers of the pouring glaze. Let it dry between each layer for better shine. Well, technically I would be done, but I like it more decorated. So I am using some air drying clay and some molds to decorate the top of my Easter egg. And since these bunnies have nice leaves around them and carrots, I got inspired and I am using leaves and carrots on my bunny as well. And I am gluing the air drying clay with express glue from Pentart. Of course, you can use another kind of glue as well. After everything was 
applied onto my Easter egg. I let my air drying clay dry after it was dried. I am painting my clay part with some acrylic paints. If you don't want to do your own Easter decor, I do have some Easter eggs and some Easter decor available in my Etsy shop. The link to my Etsy shop will be also listed in the description box below. So after watching this video, just go ahead and pop over there and have a look. I wipe off any excess of the paint with wet towel after it was dry. I am applying different shade of green and orange onto my ornament with cut up kitchen sponge. After the paints were dry, I am sealing it with some matte varnish. Of course, you can use glossy one as well. The varnish is water-based. As a last step, I am applying wax paste onto my clay part. Of course, you don't have to do this and this step is fully optional. Adding a little bit of ribbon onto my Easter egg and here it is all finished, a cute bunny Easter egg. I do hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please do subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, please do give me a thumbs up or a nice comment. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.